My memories of Bilson Mission are from the 1950s. My sister was seven years old and I was three when we moved to Cinderford. We were introduced to Bilson Mission by my sister's school friends. Most children of the 50s attended Sunday schools and Bilson, or the Little Tin Church as it was known, was the nearest one to us. It was well supported with several classes being made up of all different ages. There was always a warm welcome from friendly ladies as we arrived. I remember Mrs Brain, Mrs Sindri and a Mrs Janes who played the organ. They were always wearing their best Sunday hats and few of us girls even did that too. Mr Harold Lees was in charge as a superintendent. I remember him as a large man who could be quite strict with the cheeky older lads, but very kind too. I remember harvest festivals as being very colourful and smelling great. Most foresters had a large garden and they were very productive. Food rationing was still a very clear memory for most and dads kept chickens or rabbits. There was always plenty to give at harvest time. Apples, plums, potatoes and eggs. Our garden was very large and very wild, so mum used to make up little baskets of strawberries, black currants and gooseberries. We produced these and gave our gifts to the vicar, Mr Thomas. Someone always arrived with a marrow tucked under their arm. My sister and I had never tasted a marrow, and one year we were curious enough to buy one. However, the result was very disappointing. Christmas parties were held in the schoolroom, on trestle tables, and little benches to sit on. The ladies would put out plates of small sandwiches and little waxed paper dishes with red jelly and always orange squash to drink. I seem to remember plates printed with Bilson Mission on them, but no one else can remember this, so perhaps I'm mistaken. It was 60 years ago. One of my best memories of Mr Phillips bringing a projector and setting it up in the church with a large white sheet. He showed us Mickey Mouse cartoons. Most of us little ones perched our bottoms on the top of the pews for a better view, but not very comfy. Every summer, we looked forward to the Sunday school trips. Two coach loads of excited children would leave Bilson and head down to Clevedon or Barry Island. There was always plenty of mums to help out. Flasks of warm tea, Sunday sandwiches made a perfect day. And looking back, that might have been the only trip to the seaside that summer for quite a few of us children. Annual summer holidays were few and far between for children of the 50s. Prize giving was a special occasion and everyone tried to turn up for that. The vicar, Mr Thomas, would come from St Stephen's to hand out our prizes for good attendance. Usually the little ones, which was me, was given ladybird books on Bible stories I can recollect one being my favourite, the little shepherd boy of Bethlehem. This little church had so many memories of growing up in a neighbourhood where most of us are connected to the past and can relate with one another through good times and bad. From my own experiences, having married and moved away and then returned to this area, it's been an amazing comfort that my own children have also had the benefit to become Sunday school members and hopefully... The Little Tin Church at Bilson does have a future.